with proper deep hydration and moisture, our hair can do a lot of things. So, um, again, your hair is not for C, it's just dry. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. At this point, first off, welcome to Chizzy Duro University. I look like a professor today, but welcome back to yet another video reacting to 4C hair. You guys love these honestly I'm not sure why I like to think it's because of me you know but if you guys haven't seen all of my other previous videos where I react to 4c hair videos definitely check out the playlist I created a whole playlist for you guys you could just binge watch all of them we are doing another part today honestly I really thought TikTok would be banned by now and the series would be over but you know it's still here so let's keep it going so if you guys are excited for today's video make sure to give me a thumbs up okay those really really help boost these videos and get them ranking and also if you're not already subscribed I mean you could do what you want to do you know it's a free world do what you'd like but I just would I just I just I don't know I think I think you're gonna want to subscribe hit that notification bell so you always get notified when I post a new video and let's jump right into the madness all right <laughs> so y'all know the drill i'm just going right into tiktok and i'm looking up the 4c hair hashtag and we are gonna start reacting to some of these videos Ooh. i ain't ready yet yeah yeah so this, I actually really, really like that video because it is a prime example of what our hair can look like dry versus what it looks like with proper moisture and deep hydration. A lot of times people are mislabeling their hair because they think in its dry state, it's frizzy, it's thick, so all of a sudden it must be 4C. No, babes, it's just dry. But in terms of this woman's curls and curl patterns, they are definitely type 4. They are tight. I would consider it 4B, 4C. Yeah, honestly, like our hair can do a lot of wonders when you just moisturize it, okay? And there's a difference between moisturizing and deep hydration. Moisturizing is just going to seal that hydration, okay? But you need to hydrate the hair first. You need to steam. So she probably had a steam, a deep condition, the whole nine. Olaplex, probably. With proper deep hydration and moisture, our hair can do a lot of things. So, um, again, your hair is not for C, it's just dry. Thank you. Am I supposed to be laughing? <laughs> what am I supposed to feel after the video? Like, is it like, oh, it's so cute, the daughter? Or like, I don't know. <laughs> All I saw was a baby pulling on hair and I just don't understand. And also, just side note, I feel like the message that we always portray when it comes to our natural hair is that, you know, it's so hard to comb through. And I, I think sometimes like, we just continue to like, spread that message. And I don't know, sometimes I just feel like, Maybe not, especially not with kids. I don't know. Hey, see magic. How did she pull that hair? I just want to know, like, this is what you call magic. Nah, you know her mom's a braider. The way she's twisting up them twists, you know her mom is a braider, okay? Yo, she really grabbed that hair and said, hello, you're coming inside today. That's amazing. I think that is amazement. I love that for her. Great job. They look really good. Love to see it. So I heard that to get enough stress me out uh, why do we continue to comb our hair like this beautiful head of hair gorgeous woman I'm not coming for her in any type of way I'm just saying like wh why do we continue to comb our hair like that like why like why <laughs> anyway next video Yeah. 
Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, that's a pretty, pretty accurate representation. Her hair is really healthy, and as y'all could see, like her curl is super tight. Low key, I think I be giving some girls too much, <laughs> too much leeway. Like some of y'all really not foresee, and I be, and I just be trying to give y'all the benefit of the diet. But truthfully, truthfully. <laughs> I'm kidding, but truthfully a lot of you girls not passing the 4C test, but it's okay as you can see from this video 4C hair has a really tight pattern really really tight like really tight Like really tight Beautifully tight, but really tight. Okay, you know what? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this actually This is a good learning lesson. So so you saw that video where it said this is 4C and let's talk about the deep hydration video really quickly Would we consider both of these 4C? I think ba that curl pattern that I'm seeing I would call it 4B I would call it a true 4B she may have some 4C properties in there But I think generally most of her hair is 4B. Let me know what you guys think Okay, last video. Here's a new challenge from my black people with type 4 hair. If you think you have more shrinkage than I do, I definitely don't believe you. So do at this and prove me wrong. You see how it barely goes past my eyebrow? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen shrinkage like this before. Just so crispy. Oh my goodness. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. That is insane. That is, like I said, our hair is magic. <laughs> no, you can't have some of the secret sauce, sorry. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's shrinkage for you. But I think shrinkage is so beautiful. And shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair. So either way, shout out to It's That Easy. What did you guys think about some of the videos that I reacted to today? Obviously, let me know your thoughts down below. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. Never judge a book by its cover. But either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys can want me to continue to do these or any other types of reaction videos, let me know what you'd like to see down below. As always, it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like this and you want me to make more. And if you're not already subscribed by this point, I know you want to. And make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so you always get notified when I post a new video. Make sure you guys watch some of my other videos. I'll link them in the end screen coming right up and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.